Welcome, ladies, gentlemen, and gamers to the 12 days of building. And in this, we're going to be covering shape and second floors, planning, roofs, palette, texture and depth, interior, terraforming, the detailing both inside and outside, style tips, reusable houses, micro tips, and references. These are our three palette houses to be able to kind of go off of and be able to explain principles, but don't worry. These will be the off-screen stuff to be able to show you possibilities. We will do one on-screen in each of these episodes to be able to talk about what we're doing. These are simple builds that I'm sure those of you that need help, it could be more complex or less complex than these, but this gives a rough in-between of where you might be. So this gives you a basic idea in which each of these we're going to have a different palette. So this one we're talking about shape and second floors, so let's get into it. By the way, Here's our palettes. Now we're going to be talking about shape and second floors in this episode. So one of the first things you're going to want to do with this is you're going to want to remove the roof on whatever house you have. I know that this is a bummer, but that's what's needed if you're going to adjust a structure. Now once we have the roof off, we're able to start doing some stuff with the shape and things of that nature. But we're not going to do that on these. We're going to do this on this build that I have over here. And what we're going to use is birch to show where we modify the shape. So this is the same dimension as those, it's 9 in the front and 13 back. So if we come on over here, ignore the command block, and go something like this, just to get an idea of where our middle is, it's somewhere right about there. So this is able to be a style, and we're going to do something different with each wall to give an idea of how to be able to add shape. So we're able to go something along these lines, fill these in, and be able to have a bit of extra shape on the side. Now this is able to be another room, this is able to modify the room on the inside, whatever it might be. On this side, let's look at it a different way. Instead of being so structured, we can come up with a more organic kind of shape by simply coming out at a random spot and maybe going a little farther out than you're really comfortable with. By doing this, it offers you a lot of different options. On the back, another creative and stylistic way to do it is this is a 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let's pull off maybe two blocks here, right about there, and something along those lines, and you're able to have a circular kind of shape. But a perfect circle isn't always the most fun, so you might want to flatten out the front there just to make it so it's a, something a little bit more manageable. Now, the front is this is your piece of resistance. This is where it needs to be the most attractive. This is where it needs to pull people in from to be able to make it interesting. So what I normally suggest is a framing around the front to be able to add something that comes out by only a little bit. Something along those lines and then add a wraparound porch maybe going along the ground here. So something along these lines. I'm going to bring each of these simply up to the very top to show you a basic idea of what this looks like. Alright guys, so this is what it looks like right now. This is already a more dynamic shape to a building. Starting off with a plain old rectangle and you're able to add this to any build. Now if you look on the inside here, the front here has expanded a little bit. We have a little bit extra room to play with for the interior. In here it hasn't changed much, but we have options for each of these rooms. So originally we would have had, for instance, a I believe a kitchen is a good spot to be able to have furnaces and smelting area for if this is your base. Instead of having it be randomly in a corner here, we have a room dedicated to it. Over here, it could be some storage options on the sides here, and we can have a nice window looking out maybe in the future, instead of having your storage be all over on this wall. Over here, you might have a micro farm or a fish farm, and instead of that being trying to tucked into this corner with this randomly sticking out to be able to make it fit, we have a dedicated space for it. Now, a few tips with this, just to be able to show you from the outside, this is an odd number on each side of this original spruce box, and these are odd numbered. So there's five, there's a two, but a two is unique because on the inside it it adds two, but only for so far. So it works for something along those lines. Here it goes out by three, odd number, odd number, and odd number. This though, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, odd number, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is unique, and when we would detail it, we'd have to keep that in mind and be careful because it can end up looking wonky if it's the only even number, but it is able to be done and I'll show you how to be able to make it so it looks as good as it does with a full odd number setting. 
next we're going to be talking about second stories all right so we could very easily just bring this up by another four blocks on every single one and it would look very tall <laughs> that's all it would do is make it look very tall but instead of doing that what we're able to do is to be able to start the process just bring up especially if you're in a creative world if you're not in a creative world you're playing in survival which makes sense that's just fine I would suggest doing this for where you're possibly thinking but for the purpose of this video we're gonna bring this up on every corner that is a prominent corner I would say so and here on the inside if we were to take this and just raise it by that it would be flat right here and it would be the exact same shape to add shape we need to modify it so I say this over here why not make this into a porch we'll bring those down keep this up to show us that this will be just as high as wall but over here this could be a porch of some sort be able to bring this out and with that we're able to make it something that's very unique and we can have it be half slabbed so that way from the inside maybe we can make it too tall so you walk down a half meter to get outside and that adds a little bit of variability up here so now only this section will be tall well what if we decided that this is rounded why not make it so it's rounded going upwards also so this is a four going out we can bring it something along this line all those up let's bring that up here I'm trying to make a sphere in Minecraft on the fly so forgive me if this isn't perfectly correct but if we bring it like that and then up one more block and fill this all the way in we're able to make something a little unique and we are able to go back around with the half slabs and be able to make it look nice and flat but we're able to have a rounded bit off the back here and from the inside this could be maybe our storage area instead of downstairs giving us a little bit more options now what we have left I would say it'd be good to be able to maybe keep this shape here so we would go over here show our other post to be able to come up and I think this would look good so let me fill in the rest of what we have here and I'll show you what it looks like all right so I've decided to not raise this up just to be able to show you guys in the future with this one what a roof out of this can look like but over here we have our porch we have this and it just has a unique shape to it now but one of the things that I think that adds to this is we have used the principle of cutting away so we have cut away this part on top we have done a shaping of this part over here we decided to leave this the same and we also cut from there another thing we're able to add to this is we're able to add to it so let's add a bit of a elongated oval let's say mm, I say one more a little bit more land and we're able to add our slabs in here and this is able to be another second story porch over here for instance and we're able to let's go into our decoration blocks and find our birch fencing something there something there whoops and one over here to add a little bit of support yes that's kind of detailing but leave me be I'm a builder it's hard not to and we'll add these just to signify it's a porch and we can add an entrance right here and we have a little bit more shape and our second story is growing a little bit now when it comes to something like this I believe that this is a little bit too proud and we'll go into what I mean by proud in the future but to be able to lessen that proudness that strong strong feature of this very hard edge what we're going to do is take out these three blocks here and we're going to use stairs to soften it so if we whoops Daisy wrong block just go along like this and put these in just like so it's less of a hard angle there and if we go in from the front and just look at how things look obviously the bottom is about the same I decided let's put the ladder over here when we would come up we have this nice little area we're able to go out on the porch have plenty of space up here for anything to go on and another porch over here so I think this looks really nice but another thing you can add is possibly split this room in half for the interior and do a ton of stuff but we're gonna add on a third story to this 
and I believe that this one is going to be an attic of some sort. So it doesn't have to be very tall. So if we take all of our main points of interest and these and right there, those are our only six points of interest right now. When you're going up to a final level, there's not a point in adding an extra jut out randomly, unless you're doing something like Inspired by Howe's Moving Castle. So I'm going to remove these and we're going to have this be our final layer. So I'm going to fill that in real quick for us. Now, I know this doesn't look like much, but you have to remember, first of all, we don't have any arrues on, which is going to really add to this. We haven't done any detailing yet, but this right here is much, much more interesting than just one of these rectangular boxes, which is what we started with here. It adds a lot more. We have a lot more space to play with and a lot more options for when we move on with building. So I think this looks really nice. Now, I'm going to use the principles we learned here where it's extending, cutting away, and the second roofs options we have to modify the three of these and show you some other possible options not quite related to this very I'm gonna say this is gonna look very rustic old style build so we're gonna do that with these three over here all right guys so I've done a little bit of work here and I just want to run through what my idea is with each of these so what we did here is we moved this in by one block in the front to be able to make it so it sinks in we have a porch on the side here nice and we have a porch here from the inside here, we have a decent sized room, a small staircase here, we'll get back to that, and a larger room over here. And I believe that I should go in here and drink a night vision potion. And a little offshoot right here, maybe for a little bit of storage or something along those lines. We've also moved the back, um, farther back by a little bit. Then we have a long staircase going up here, and the two porches we were talking about. And just to show you, this is the part that we extended in the back for the first floor. It's a nice little homey feel, and I think over here it could be a good exit to the like garden or something along those lines, but we'll move on to that in a further episode of the 12 Days of Building. Here is, I'm thinking like almost like a wizard's like dorm room or something along those lines. You know, like a wizard's college, and here's one of the dorm rooms. So, small little maybe bathroom area or something like that, you know. Then we have this circular staircase here, and the way we did that was we moved out the blocks by I believe it was three each direction then made a square of it cut out the corners and we got that nice little room a small porch off to the side here get a little bit of fresh air almost like a uh, creative room for the dorm then here are the three dorm rooms each will hold one person and up here at the very top I thought it would be very cool to be able to have whoops we're not up there yet a watchtower and this is where they'll be able to keep track of the students and such let's just get out of here and then over here I thought this would be a good spot for a tavern so we moved it up by one block to be able to have a nice porch we have a tall ceiling and rooms for the travelers which I think is very nice and it shows the difference that these all started as a just 9 by 13 by 4 high square box and what just adding some shape to it can really do and for this we're going to also change these out for the spruce just so it's not strange what we're going to be doing with this is we're going to be showing the differences we make with this using the birch planks but we're not going to leave it like that for this episode we're going to change it to spruce all right all right. and there we go but wow does this need some work i'm excited though because we're going to be able to do that starting tomorrow with the next episode of the build series 12 days of building and this is going to end on december 25th so I hope you guys enjoy, hope you guys will stick through this, and hope you guys can learn a lot. So from my house to yours, a Merry Christmas. If you celebrate any other holidays, Happy Holidays. And if you don't celebrate anything this time of year, well, I just hope you have a good day. Catch you guys back with the next one. All right? All right.